The cinema of Egypt refers to the flourishing Egyptian Arabic language film industry based in Cairo, the capital of Egypt. Since 1976, Cairo has held the annual Cairo International Film Festival, which has been accredited by the International Federation of Film Producers Associations. There is also another festival held in Alexandria. Of the more than 4,000 short and feature-length films made in Arabic-speaking countries since 1908, more than three-quarters were Egyptian. History Beginnings While a limited number of silent films were made in Egypt from 1896, Cairo's film industry became a regional force with the coming of sound. Between 1930 and 1936, various small studios produced at least 44 feature films. In 1936, Studio MISR, financed by industrialist Talar Tarb, emerged as the leading Egyptian equivalent to Hollywood's major studios, a role the company retained for three decades. Historians disagree in determining the beginning of cinema in Egypt. There are those who said that beginning in 1896 with the first film watched in Egypt, while others thought that the beginning of cinema in the June 20, 1907 with the a short documentary film about the visit of Khedive Abbas Helmi II to the Institute of Mercy Abel Abbas in Alexandria. In 1917, the director Mohammed Karim established a production company in Alexandria. The company produced two films. Dead Flowers and Honor the Bedouin, which were shown in the city of Alexandria in early 1918. Since then, more than 4,000 films have been produced in Egypt, three-quarters of the total Arab production. Egypt is the most productive country in the Middle East in the field of film production, and the one with the most developed media system. The Golden Age the 1940s, 1950s and the 1960s are generally considered the Golden Age of Egyptian cinema. As in the West, films responded to the popular imagination, with most falling into predictable genres, and many actors making careers out of playing strongly typed parts. In the words of one critic, if an Egyptian film intended for popular audiences lacked any of these prerequisites, it constituted a betrayal of the unwritten contract with the spectator, the results of which would manifest themselves in the box office. In 1940, the entrepreneur and translator Anna Sebade established Anna Sebade Films as the first subtitling company in Egypt and the Middle East bringing hundreds of American and world movies to Egypt. Later he entered the movie distribution business too. Political changes in Egypt after the overthrow of King Farouk in 1952 initially had little effect on Egyptian film. The Nasser regime sought control over the industry only after turning to socialism in 1961. By 1966, the Egyptian film industry had been nationalized as is the case regarding all matters during that period, diametrical opinions can be found about cinema industry then. In the words of Ahmed Ramsey, a leading man of the era, it went to the dogs. The heavy government hand that accompanied nationalization of Egyptian film stifled innovative trends and sapped its dynamism. However, considering a rather modern moderate review like that given by Dubai International Film Festival, most of the 44 Egyptian films featuring in the best 100 Arab films of all time were produced during that period. Notable titles included The Night of Counting the Years, Cairo Station, and The Postman. By the 1970s, Egyptian films struck a balance between politics and entertainment. Films such as 1972's Kali Balakman Zuzo, starring the Cinderella of Arab cinemas Suad Husni, sought to balance politics and audience appeal. Zuzo integrated music, dance, and contemporary fashions into a story that balanced campus ferment with family melodrama. Transitional period The late 1970s and 1980s saw the Egyptian film industry in decline, with the rise of what came to be called contractor movies. Actor Carla Del Soy has described these as films where there is no story, no acting and no production quality of any kind. 
Basic formula movies that aimed at making a quick buck, the number of films produced also declined, from nearly 100 movies a year in the industry's prime to about a dozen in 1995. Throughout most of 1980, the West German filmmaker T.E.O.D. Richter worked in Cairo filming what would become his last film. The 248-minute silent feature, Memory Through Tales Told, this lasted until summer 1997, with Ismailia Rayeji A.Y.Y. The comedy shocked the cinema industry enjoying unparalleled success and providing large profits for the producers. Introducing Mohamed Fouar and Mohamed Hennedy a rather unknown actor who then became the number one comedian star. Building on the success of that movie, several comedy films were released in the following years present since the 1990s. Egypt cinema has gone in separate directions. Smaller art films attract some international attention but sparse attendance at home. Popular films, often broad comedies such as What A Lie, and the extremely profitable works of comedian Mohamed Saad, battle to hold audiences either drawn to Western films or, increasingly, wary of the perceived immorality of film. A few productions, such as 2003's Sahar El Layali, intertwined stories of four bourgeois couples and 2006's I Marit Yakubi and Bridge This Divide through their combination of higher artistic quality and popular appeal. In 2006, the film Orkat Farah was released, a social commentary on the decline of Egyptian youth. The film was produced on a low budget and with the attendant low production values. The film, however, became a success. Its controversial subject matter, namely, the sexual undertones in today's society, was seen as confirmation that the industry was finally beginning to take risks. A major challenge facing Egyptian and international scholars, students, and fans of Egyptian film is the lack of resources in terms of published works, preserved and available copies of the films themselves. In development in Egypt of state and private institutions dedicated to the study and preservation of film, the Egyptian National Film Center, which theoretically holds copies of all films made after 1961, is according to one Egyptian film researcher, far from being a library, houses piles of rusty cans containing positive copies. The year 2007, however, saw a considerable spike in the number of Egyptian movies Movies made. In 1997, the number of Egyptian feature length films created was 16. Ten years later, that number had risen to 40. Box office records have also risen significantly, as Egyptian movies earned around $50 million, while American movies, by comparison, earned $10 million. The quality of movies has also improved both in terms of direction and plot. Festivals since 1976, Cairo has held the annual Cairo International Film Festival, which has been accredited by the International Federation of Film Producers Associations. There is also another festival held in Alexandria. Of the more than 4,000 short and feature-length films made in Arabic-speaking countries since 1908, more than three-quarters were Egyptian. Notable Films Notable Figures Directors Ahmed Badrakhan, Anwar Wagdi, Ateefe Type, Chadi Abdul Salam, Daud Abdul Syed, Azel Dine Zulfikar, Hassan Al Imam, Henry Burakit, Hussein Kamal, Jehina Nujaim, Kerry Beshera, Mar Sabri, Mahmoud Zulfikar, Marwan Hamd, Muhammad Khan, Muhammad Karim, Salah Abbasif, Shadi Abdul Salam, Shira Arafa, Tamer El said, Yusri Nasrallah, Yusef Chayine, Yusef Wabi, cinematographers Tariq El Telmiseni, actors Abdel Futter El Kwasari, Abdel Munaym Ibrahim, Abdel Munaym Mabouli, Abdel Salam El Nabulzi, Abdul Halim Hafiz, Adel Imam, Ahmed Helmi, Ahmed Mazza, Ahmed Zaki, Ali El Kassa, Amina Ariz Ed K, Anwar Wagdi, EMAD Hamdi, Azel Dine Zulfikar, Ezat Abu Aouf, 
Farad al Atrash, Farad Shawki, Fatan Hamama, Fatma Ruchdi, Fuid al Mohandes, Hend Rostam, Hussein Fami, Ismail Yassin, Carla Abol Naga, Layla Murad, Lablaba, Mary Queenie, Mervit Amin, Muhammad Abdul Wahab, Munira El Mardaya, Nabila Ibaid, Nadia Luthfi, Nahet Sharif, Nagui Bal Rahana, Naima Akef, Nelly Maslom, Nelly, Nor El Shera, Omar Sharif, Rush the Abazar, Sabah, Samia Gamal, Samir Sabre, Sana Gamal, Shadia, Shukri Sahan, Shwika, Soad Hosni, Tahi Kariorka, Yusef Wabi, Yusra, Zaki Rostam, Zuzo Nabil, Film Critic Samir Ferrad, Music Composer Zamar El Shurai, Omar Kerat, 1948, In the Press, The Best of Egyptian Cinema, The Best 15 Best Egyptian Films of All Time.